Right, now this is the rig I'm using. I've showed it probably a million times in all my other videos. It's because it's probably the most simple and easiest method um, to use, especially for beginners. But not only that, I've been fishing now for God knows how long, since I was a kipper. And uh, I'm still doing it now, especially on them quick trips. And that is this, very simple, <coughs> light ledger. I'm fishing four pound main straight down to the hook. Uh, it's just a general overall fish catching rig uh, for my river fishing. And uh, that bomb there is probably a quarter of an ounce. Then I'm fishing a shot just below it, just to stop it from sliding down towards the hook. And the hook I'm using today uh, is a size 12 with a bunch of maggots on it. This time of the year they can't seem to resist maggots. So uh, that's basically it. Hook length of about two foot, a foot to two foot, depending on the conditions. Of course, I could I could go um, a bigger hook length if the fish were were quite spooky, but that's a good general setup. I mean, what you could do is you could have a buffer bead on there, you could have a, a clip for your lead, so it's quick to change between them. But as a general uh, beginner's uh, kind of rig, uh, this is um, fairly decent, as I say. If you're new to fishing, new to river fishing, that's very simple, very easy, and very effective. I get a lot of my fish on that. Yeah, it's very quick and easy to set up as well. Oh, I've got the first fish of the session, and it's uh, one of the target species. In fact, it, was my, it is my main target species today, and it's uh, a great big clonking perch. It's probably uh, <laughs> scraping two pound. I'll probably wait at the end, along with any other fish that I catch that look decent. And he, he doesn't want to play. <laughs> Let's see if I can just carefully hold him. I'm actually sat on the mat, so if he drops, i um, got that safety net. There we go. Absolutely fantastic perch. Uh, beautiful colours on it. Great condition. I'll put him in the keep net so he doesn't spook the other fish and then I'll carry on fishing. I'm only having a, about an hour and a half session this morning, so it shouldn't be too bad just keeping in, in the keep net for, for that amount of time. But that's a great start. Had a bit of trouble with these pesky chub. Um, quite mainly targeting perch, but uh, obviously anything else is kind of a bonus on a winter day. I think he spat the hook out actually in the net. That'll help me out. <laughs> yeah, he has. So far, the uh, chub and perch have both been taken on a single white maggot. And this is the chub. This is a great clonker as well. So far it's almost a bit of a specimen session. I mean, I've had a perch that looks over two. I guess we'll find it at the end. And this chub appears to be possibly over four pound. Um, and well, I can't really complain at that, can I? Uh, I've still probably got half an hour, 45 minutes left of fishing, maybe a bit longer actually. Uh, depending on how long I want to push it before I, I go home and get ready for work. But uh, that's great. I'll chuck this one in the keep net as well. I've actually lost three chub now uh, before this one. So I've upped my hook size slightly just to get a better hook hole because I thought I'd be mainly getting perch but it seems like these have uh, started to take over so um, I'll get them into the keep net. A great big slab of a perch. This one's definitely well over two. Hey, let's get the line a bit of slack. As we can see there, the single. <laughs> Stop it. The single maggot right in the corner of his mouth there. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. A single maggot threaded onto a uh, 
size 14. And uh, there we go, a proper chunk, a really dark fish. Bit of an old warrior, so to speak. Absolutely stunning colours yet again. Exactly the same as the other one. I don't know whether they're winter colours or anything. I'll have to see um, if I've had this one in the past because it's got a very prominent mark in its tail there. Um, but yeah, fantastic fish. Another one to weigh at the end and uh, to look at along with the chub. Uh, yeah, well chubbed. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, nice presenting. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. I've actually just lost a big perch again but then immediately after I got a great big clonking job now this one is over four pound hundred percent and it's absolutely stunning fish I don't think there's a mark on it uh, and it's big in size and that's that will take on the single red maggot yet again <clears throat> which seems to be the uh, top bait for today's session absolutely fantastic I've got about half an hour's fishing left around about that um, I still think I can maybe get a, one more, one or two more fish out of this swim, but I am well chuffed with that. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a nice uh, looking net fish uh, when I pull it out of the water. So I'll get this chub back and uh, go see if I can get one more. Great. So just about to pack up. I'm actually late for going back home and getting ready for work. I might just have to go straight to work from here with a fishing tackle because I've spent a year trying to land. A barbel. They took my bait. So, I can position the camera a bit better. It seems to be uh, over at probably around eight pound. Ooh. <laughs> Oi. There we go. Fantastic fish. What I'll do is I'm going to rest them in the net and then um, I'm going to pull the keep net out. And then I'll put this fish on the keep net with the other fish. So this fish won't be going in a keep net. You should never really put a barbel in a keep net. It stresses them out a bit far too much. Ah, oh, beautiful. What a great way to end the session. I'm going to have to hurry up now. Oh, yes. Beautiful net of fish. I'll get these back as quickly as possible. I'll put the biggest ones in the net and weigh them. And then uh, get them all back. Fish, not quite as big as one I had yesterday, you should have seen in the pictures. But it's still a stunning fish, and uh, there's still a few more fish down there to catch. I've been here probably about 10 minutes, gently feeding maggots and pellets. I'm not worried this one because uh, as I say, it's not <coughs> not a huge fish, it's probably around the five pound mark, maybe pushing six, depending. Um, there it is. I was resting in the net probably about five minutes just as I was um, sorting the mat out and uh, getting the camera ready and I've just lifted it out now and uh, it's a stunning fish, you've got such a good fight a lot more than actually the one I had yesterday um, to say it's probably a few pounds smaller or a couple of pounds smaller 
Either way, it's a stunning fish, and uh, I'm well chilled. Let's get him back.